The Peak Design Travel Duffel is a 35 liter duffel bag with a bunch of interesting features going on. Peak Design also makes a 65 liter, which is a little bit different. But we'll just be covering the 35 liter in this review. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's jump right into the 35 liter duffel from Peak Design. At the time of this review, the duffel comes in two colors. We have black and sage green. Now, normally we would go with black, especially to match the Peak Design Travel backpack behind me. However, this time we wanted to switch it up and go with sage green. The sage green option comes with a lot of leather accents, whereas the black version comes with a lot more Hypalon accents. So we have this leather here on the handles, some of these leather tags on the side, as well as the back of the duffel, there's a lot of leather going on that complements that sage green look. The 400D heathered nylon canvas pulls everything together really well, and that's kind of a heathered gray, heathered green color. Also, the material is 100% recycled, which is always a plus. We really like the look of this bag. However, aesthetic is always in the eyes of the beholder. That's why we pulled our Instagram audience over at Pack Hacker to get their thoughts on it. So if you wanna be involved in future polls, feel free to head over there and follow us. From a branding perspective, there are a lot of Peak Design and PD logos going on, but they're all very tasteful. So on this leather, it's just kind of pressed in and same with the aluminum, that PD is just nicely pressed in. So it's nothing too loud, nothing too gaudy, but it's there and it's detailed when you wanna see it. Wrapping up the rest of the materials, we have a large number 10 zoom zipper here as the main zipper on this pack. It's got some nice weather resistance. And then we have YKK zippers across the rest of the pack. There was a bit of controversy on our Peak Design Travel Backpack video for using a large zoom zipper compared to YKK as the main zipper of the bag. However, with the duffel, we're a little bit less concerned about that choice as if it does fail, it's still completely operational. It doesn't get rid of the entire function of the duffel as it does with a clamshell backpack. And then we have 900D liner at the bottom of this bag. So it kind of has a bit of a rubbery feel and add some additional durability as you're setting this bag and just tossing it around. And then we have aluminum on a lot of these strap attachment points, so definitely some really nice feeling material there. And then we have Hypalon in some places. Not as much Hypalon as with the black version, but it has this kind of rubbery feel at touch points, so it helps you uh, kind of grip and get these things off a little bit quicker. This bag has four different carry styles and some work better than others. Starting it off, we have the hand carry. So with hand carry, you just take these two straps, put them together, they attach via magnet, which is a little bit weak, but they do stay attached if they're just sitting here. Um, that is the first carry style. Definitely a great carry style for a duffel. Then we have sling carry, which uses these shoulder straps. So the shoulder strap is just attached to these nylon loops on either side of the duffel. With this carry mode, you wanna keep these straps a little bit more loose as you wanna sling it across your body. Shoulder carry is basically just popping the strap on one shoulder. You can tighten this up a little bit more if you want the bag a little bit higher up on your body. While you're in either sling mode or shoulder carry mode, you can easily take these off if you'd like and just stow them away. So they're quite easy to take off. At first, they took us a little bit of time, but the more that we use the duffel, the easier it became. So yeah, there you go, just pop this off, easily attaches back on. And it stays attached as well, there's a bit of a divot in the aluminum, and it keeps it on this nylon loop. And now for backpack mode, it is not ideal, not the most comfortable back straps, but it will work in a pinch, if you're just carrying this for short distances, or you just need to sling it on your back for some reason. So. Essentially, whatever the top of the bag is, it doesn't really matter what the top of the bag is. Actually, if you look at this, it's really interesting. The Peak Design logo works the same way, whether it's upside down or right side up. So that's really nice. It doesn't matter which side this is worn on. But I think typically uh, in the marketing photos, Peak Design has this tab at the top. So if that's the case for the shoulder straps. These would stay attached to the top. We would bend this little magnet thing down to kind of get it out of the way, so that creates a bit of a lower profile for the backpack carry. And then you can easily just pull off these bottom ones, attach it to this loop here, right? Pull off the bottom one, attach it to this nylon loop, 
and there you go, boom, it's in backpack mode. These straps are anchored a little bit better to kind of be used as a backpack. And these are the little details that really set Peak Design apart from a lot of other companies. They have a lot of these little magnets, these little kind of smart ways to access things or the self-locking zippers that we're gonna get into in a second. But definitely a lot of those details are infused to create a really unique bag for a really unique carry. And then another note on the backpack straps is that the 65 liter version of the duffel seems to offer something a little bit more robust. They may have chosen to not create robust backpack straps with the smaller one, because you don't really need it at 35 liters, especially for a duffel that's typically a companion to other bags. And on these carry modes, generally the first three carry modes work very well. We don't love backpack quite as much, but that's totally okay. This is a duffel bag primarily after all. It is marketed as a duffel bag. It is not marketed as a backpack with backpack straps in a duffel bag form. So we're totally okay with that duffel bag first. Another pro with the shoulder strap is how padded it is and how far across it is padded. So basically on a couple of other bags, if there's very thin padding, we've seen this on other shoulder bags, um, you kind of have to get the tightening on the sides exactly correct. Whereas with this one, you can have a little bit of leeway because it's gonna be padded no matter where you're wearing it on your shoulder, no matter where the strap is positioned. And then for more detail with the magnets on the side, when we have it in sling or shoulder mode, those magnets pop right out and that kind of adds to the overall carry here. But then in backpack mode or hand carry mode, these can fold down and magnetize to the bag to kind of keep the excess strap and flap out of the way. We found these magnets a little bit weak, not only on the carry handle, but while it's in backpack mode as well. So this needs to fold over, otherwise it's gonna kind of stick into the back of your head. Wish this had a little bit more of an attachment here to keep things a little bit more secure, because when this duffel gets really full, sometimes those magnets can kind of come undone without you wanting them to. It's not a deal breaker, just something that we noticed in testing. And lastly, there are two nice grab handles at the bottom here, nice and padded, and really a good touch to kind of grab this duffel from whatever angle it is that you need it from. The great thing about duffels is that they usually open up to one massive compartment and the Peak Design Travel Duffel is no exception. So if we just open that right up, you can see that there's basically a giant bucket here. And now this utilizes Peak Design's packing tools. So this will fit three units of packing tools. So we have the larger packing cube, which is two units. And then we have the camera cube here, which is one unit. A cool thing about these zippers is that they are locking they can lock into each other for full lockdown mode so this just unlocks here then you can lock the other zipper in and then you can use the nylon loop at the edge just thread that through and then there you go you basically have a locked up completely secure duffel going on here that's not going to unzip quite as easily. There is a bit of rigidity on the side of the zippers in the main compartment as well that help the bag keep its shape. They're kind of like these little plasticky feeling stays on the side. So that just is there so the material doesn't flop around quite as much. The rest of the interior is pretty much an open space. So after we take everything out, it's just basically a giant bucket. We do have these nice mesh zippered pockets on the side. This is kind of Peak Design's rubbery mesh here. So it's clear so you can see what's going through it, or there's holes in it rather, so you can see what's going on inside. Nice zipper there. And then we also have these black tabs here at the top that integrate well with Peak Design's camera cubes. So we have four reviews on those camera cubes as well as the packing cubes over at packhacker.com. Just check those out if you're curious on how any of this stuff can integrate into the pack. Moving on to these side pockets, there are two larger horseshoe style pockets on each side, and they have aluminum stays here as well that help kind of have the bag keep its shape. Another tricky thing here is you can thread this zipper through this horseshoe pocket into the main compartment, and there is a toggle on the inside where you can attach this zipper to for added security or if you wanna fully lock down these side pockets. The first pocket on the side opens up to reveal three rubbery mesh pockets going on here. So basically the middle one is a little bit wider than the two on the side. Got a passport in this one, sunglasses on the side here, these small rove sunglasses that we reviewed. So be sure to check those out. If you wanna learn more, they're kind of little handy sunglasses that really compress down. 
Then we have a battery bank here, an anchor battery bank. And then you have some extra space here if you wanna stuff a jacket or just any other free floating items inside. Then in the front of this, there is another zippered pocket that opens right up. And that's basically just a giant pocket with no additional organization inside. Flipping it around to the other side, this horseshoe pocket opens right up. And then similar to before, we have these same kind of rubbery mesh style pockets that we have in the interior and the other side. Except this side just has two divisions in it, so a little bit larger here. Um, just have a notebook in this one and some tech cords in the other one. And then another thing that's going on here that is not going on on the other side is you have this little nylon loop here, maybe to attach a keychain or some additional Peak Design accessories. And then you have this luggage ID thing going on right here. Um, not super obvious that this would be the place for luggage ID. Uh, not sure how many people would check there or know to check there if, if uh, you lost your bag, but it is there should you choose to use it. At the time of this review, Mark and I have been testing the Peak Design 35 liter travel duffel over the course of two weeks in Detroit and Chicago. Overall, we are digging the simplistic style and multiple carry styles offered. So far, so good on the aesthetic wear and tear and durability as well. So you really don't have too much going on. Of course, the bottom is marked up a little bit because it's been tossed around on, you know, in cars and on trains in Chicago. Um, but other than that, it's holding up very, very well. And no concerns with the durability yet. We think this duffel is a really great companion to a larger one bag travel backpack or even another backpack. We think duffels fall a little bit short when carrying things like laptops, although the organization specifically in the Peak Design Travel Duffel is really great and just the right amount of balance for holding everything that you wanna just dump inside, as well as a couple of areas of organization on the sides. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, there are well thought out design features and some really great details going on with this duffel. The multiple carry modes add a bunch of versatility and there is great organization, especially for a duffel. On to some of the cons, the magnets can be a little bit weak in some areas. We wish they were a little bit stronger. The luggage ID area can be hard to find and the backpack carry mode isn't ideal. Peak Design blends the simplistic style of the traditional duffel with a couple of their signature, well thought out touches to make something truly special. They took the humble duffel and made it better. Although we have a couple of small nitpicks with this thing, Overall, it's a great companion on the road and even better paired with another bag. So there you have it, our review of the 35 liter Peak Design Travel Duffel. We would love to hear what you think of this bag in the comments below. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.